No, you, no, I want you to pour some okay. of that tap water in there. Okay, so this is water from my tap. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Because that's normally how people would wash their vegetables, right? Okay, their fruits got a and vegetables. Cherry tomatoes. Right. Here. And then I'm going to pour the 11.5 water into this one. And this has been run through the machine. Exactly. This is the one that I that we've been talking about that you can uh, replace all of your toxic cleaners with this water. And you're going to see in just a minute um, what that's going to do, you know, to uh, to those tomatoes. Okay. Now, while that's happening, I want to show you why it is that it can do what it's going to do. What is it doing now? I mean, is it... Is it it's, it's cleaning, right? This one, you feel, is cleaning the tomatoes. And you'll see it. You'll see the difference. Well, this one, which is my tap water, is just sitting on it. Yeah. It's, yeah they're, they're, as you can see, we're just, we're, we just poured the waters in there and not doing anything else with it. But I want to show you why you're going to see what you're, you're going to see in a couple minutes here. This is 100% sesame oil that I'm pouring into that glass, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pour some into this glass as well. A lot of the pesticides and herbicides and pollution that's on our produce today are oil-based, and a lot of people don't realize that. So if we were to take tap water, Linda, and wa try to wash our fruits and pr vegetables, what's going to happen? Oil and water don't, don't mix, mix, right? right? So we already know it's going to separate. But now let's take the 11.5 pH water and add it to that one, because I want you to see. Oh my gosh. It instantly emulsified 100% oil. That is oil. unbelievable. This looks like classic vinegar and oil. There's right. a separation. Exactly. And this is just completely blends. There's no separation. No separation. It broke it down, totally wow. broke it down. That's what I'm talking about. Let's pour that into there. That's your tap water. Mm -hmm. And that's the 11.5 water. Can you see the difference? Yeah, you can definitely see the difference. I should hold it up. I don't know if you can see the difference, but the tap water is completely clear, and the water with the right pH, the Kagan water uh -huh. as you call it, is yellow. Now, is it yellow because it has taken the pesticides off the tomatoes? I mean, explain to me why I'm seeing a difference in color. It's yellow because it's removing pesticides, herbicides, the pollution, the gunk that's on your fruits and vegetables that, was, that the tap water couldn't remove because it's oil-based. Hmm. A lot of it is oil-based. Now do this. Try one of these tomatoes. Eat it? Yep, eat it, and then kind of cleanse your palate a little bit after you eat it. Mm, those are good. Okay. Now cleanse your palate when you, after you eat that, and then have one of those. Wow, this is funny, but there really is a difference. Okay. Wow. Yes. That's actually not funny. Yeah. That's scary, because people don't realize... That's, that's unbelievable. Isn't it? Now, let me ask you something. Do you think those pesticides, herbicides, pollution is going to cause health problems? when people continue to consume it. Wow, that's, that's unbelievable. And how many people are giving their children strawberries and grapes and lettuce for their salad that they've washed with tap water? Sorry. No Just problem. That's sweet. And maybe I had a bad tomato, but. And, and this is gonna be a little bitter again because you can taste the chemicals. It's the same thing. <laughs> That's the chemicals. 